Thanks for joining us for this week's Legislative Policy Roundup. Let's take a look at what happened in Tallahassee. With just one more week of session left, here's your Week 8 Legislative Roundup covering education-related issues in Florida. On Monday, Governor Rick Scott signed Senate Bill 1076, which allows students to substitute rigorous industry certifications for certain graduation course requirements and creates programs for careers in the digital age. So, Senate Bill 1076 will make sure our students are prepared for college and careers and have the skills to compete for jobs in an ever competitive global marketplace. With the governor's signature, Florida high school learning will now include more skills valuable to students in life which will translate directly into 21st century opportunities. It was a busy week for bills moving in the Florida Senate. The Parent Empowerment Bill is in the home stretch. On Tuesday, the Senate Appropriations Committee passed the bill and it approaches its final vote next week on the Senate floor. This bill, Senate Bill 862, is the Parent Empowerment and Education. Parent Empowerment and Education Act gives parents a legitimate seat at the table when it comes to their child's academic success. No sh student should have to remain in a school which fails year after year, and this legislation empowers parents to recommend a turnaround option for their child's failing school. Also facing its final vote is Senate Bill 1108 on exceptional student education. This week, the Senate Appropriations Committee passed Public School Personnel Senate Bill 980. This will ensure classroom teachers are only evaluated based on the performance of students they teach. And finally, the budget negotiation process continues between the House and Senate. Next week marks the grand finale, Signy Die. Stay tuned for updates along the way and results of student-centered reforms on their path to becoming realities for Florida students. <laughs>